Hey, welcome back to our practice time. For our first example, we're gonna go for a packet containing eight jelly beans, five are green, three yellow, and two are randomly selected without a replacement. So what we wanna do here is to determine the probability of getting a green and a green, the probability of having a green then a yellow, the probability of having a yellow then a green, and the probability of having a yellow and a yellow. First of all, we're gonna let G equals to green and Y equals to yellow. Now, the probability of having a green and a green sounds like an independent even. And that's what we saw in our previous, vi previous video. We were saying that when you have a independent even this actually means that you can have the probability of G times the probability of G again these two events are totally independent the fact that I'm gonna choose green at first doesn't have anything to do with choosing a green at second and vice versa and this is gonna give us um, choosing a green at first will be out of eight jelly beans so the total amount here we have in eight jelly beans and we have five green we're gonna choose one green out of five here so we're gonna have here five eighth okay and once we've chosen one we will have in our packet here um, remaining seven jelly beans and of course we want to have a green but if we had a green before again, we would not be able to have five green in a, in a packet again but four so this is giving us 5 8 times 4 7 and this is equal to uh, 5 so 4 here will cancel out with the 8 here remaining 2 here and this is going to give us here uh, 5 14 and the second one here having the probability of G then Y this is an dependent even because we're gonna have I mean we have to have at first green therefore we can select a, a Y and this is here uh, this condition needs to be fulfilled at first and secondly we're gonna have Y means that we're gonna have here the probability of having G okay times the probability of having y of having y given that given that g is selected that's what i mean here okay and this equals um 5 8 that's the probability of having a grain times of course once we've you know chosen one green we will have remaining the packet seven and this time we're choosing out of uh, yellow we're gonna have three out of we're gonna find choose one yellow out of three and this is giving us here uh, if we just have here this is 15 and 8 okay this is gonna be 15 56 and that cannot be cancelled out and having now y then g is actually the same you know it's kind of a reverse okay first we will start this we have we have to have here first of all y then we'll be able to to select uh, g now this is gonna be the probability of having y out of this whole thing here will be three out of eight jelly beans and we will see you know and we have to select a grain out of five so remaining in the packet we have seven and we're gonna select if we select one grain so we're gonna have to select here out of five okay and this is gonna give us here uh, the same thing we had before 15 60 uh, 56 The last one now we want to have green 
and we will have yellow and yellow again okay we already know that the probability of having a yellow is 3 eighth okay and now we want to you know select another yellow but out of seven jelly beans in a packet because we only have three yellow if you've already selected one we would only have to select out of two now and this is equal to six out of, or I can cancel out I can cancel the two out here with the with the eight remain here four and this is 328 now as you can see in this exercise here we we had you know two independent events the first one i and the fourth i okay and um, they are independent because you know the scenario here is happening you know separately you know finding the probability of g separately from the probability the second probability of g and the two in the middle i i and three i i are dependent it means that the first condition in this case has to be fulfilled you know for we can continue to the second one to y you know so that means that if we don't find g there is no way or there is no possibility to continue finding y and that's why these two conditions here in the middle are considered to be dependent Thank you for watching again guys and see you in the next video with another example. Bye bye.